Oh boy, it's like Christmas morning over here in YouTube land because they're giving everybody the new channel layout. And here I am uh, checking it out right now. They call it the new YouTube One channel layout. And so I'm actually kind of just going through this right now uh, live, so I don't really know exactly everything that's uh, that's going on. But it looks like uh, they have your profile picture up here. I'm going to add some channel art to this area. Um, the clickable areas talk about subscribers up here, views, I can access my video manager, and then I can also view it as public, which kind of uh, mimics what Google Plus does on its side of things. I also have a link to my website, that's nice, and of course my sharing options. I don't have Facebook or Twitter enabled, but I do have Google Plus. Looks like we can access the channel settings, and then it has tabs here for the home, uh, which also has a drop down for browser to feed. Uh, you, I can see my videos, uh, discussion, and about, and then you can also search. Uh, also, down below, when you first get in here uh, to your channel, you can actually add a channel trailer, which is a video that will show to your non-subscribers, um, uh, only to your non-subscribers, to hopefully get them to subscribe. So uh, that, I have a feeling, is going to be really important in the future, if not already. Uh, and then a little box here that uh, lets you see what the subscriber sees and what the unsubscriber sees. So uh, let's take a look here. I'm going to try to add some channel art, and hopefully I will uh, luck out the first time. Uh, so I'm going to select some uh, image, and I already created an image. Uh, hopefully it's here somewhere. There it is, new channel graphic, and hopefully I did the right dimensions. I did it based off of what YouTube told me. And I want to do desktop. Okay, that's nice. So it shows me examples of the desktop, what it's going to look like on TV, which is kind of odd and small, and then what it's going to look like on mobile. So I'm more concerned about desktop and mobile. Uh, if I wanted to add some other stuff for TV, I will do that in the, the future. Down below, whoops, I actually clicked the wrong place. Down below, it actually lets you adjust and crop or just select. So I'm going to click select and hopefully that will be updated. It looks like it says saved and oh look at that lovely picture. So I now have my books in here. I have uh, my name, image, uh, some text and I think I'm going to go back and edit this a little bit more. It looks like I have a lot of blue space on the left and the right hand side. I don't know if this image shows up all the time. Hopefully I can turn that off. If not, I'll just leave it on. Uh, but that's pretty interesting. I can also edit links and edit the art. So I know I can do it again. Um, but that's pretty neat right now. I'm going to see what it looks like as the general public sees it. I'm going to click view as public. And okay, so it shows my face and it shows my face again because that's in my artwork. And, uh, and so I have a, it looks like I have some extra space here that I can work with and I probably will in the future. But it's kind of nice to know that I already have my new channel with a graphic laid out. So that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I have um, edit links and edit channel art. I don't think I need to edit any links, but if I want to, I can add a custom link here and or, or the title, and I can also put the URL in. So that's pretty cool. I also have some social links. Remember, I had Google Plus, so I have it directing to my Google Plus, and it actually will let you choose how many social links you want to actually be seen on your channel. And then I have show the views, show the date joined. I can turn those on and off. I'm going to turn off date join. Um, not that it's really a big deal. And then I have my subscribers. I can also edit my about section. It's just like the description for um, my channel. Um, and so there's some pretty cool things in here. Not really anything extra new, just kind of different uh, locations. I'm going to take a look at the discussion tab. The discussion tab is just like your comments for your channel. Video tabs will show your videos laid out as an upload or as an um, a layout such as the, just a list. You can also do it by playlists or likes and or you can see playlists and likes and then you can also do it by newest to oldest or oldest to newest. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I'm going to click the home again, and that's it. So this is the new YouTube layout. You can also add a section, which means you can add sections that you feature sets of videos, such as last uploads, da 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 da, playlists or tags. So that's pretty neat. 
That's why they give you the new tag feature, because you can actually do it by tags. It's down here, and you can't see it, but um, that's nice. And you can do a horizontal row or a vertical row. And done. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't pick one, so it wants me to pick one. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to see if I can edit this. Can I take this out? No, it takes me to my Google+, Plus, uh, which is fine, but I didn't really want to go there right now. I want to take a look at my channel. So there we go. So now I'm going to take a look and see what the subscribers see. The subscribers will see my artwork, what to watch next, recent activity, so I, people can scroll through here. That's pretty neat. Recent activity, such as what I've uploaded, and then more recent uploads down below. And it looks like you can edit. Yeah, you can change this if you wanted. So now what you can do is you can tag all of your videos specifically for your channel and have that if you wanted to choose tags. You can also do single playlists, recent activities, all play. I'm going to put all playlists in. I, I, wanna, I like my playlist. So I'm going to do done. And I like the horizontal. There's also popular uploads, which means like the largest, most popular views. And that's nice. Okay, so there we go. That is my new channel. That's what your channels are going to ultimately turn out to look like. Maybe not the graphic-wise, but layout-wise. So uh, get on it. Get on it when you can. And um, what I did was I went to... I'll show you where I went to. Um, I went to the... The YouTube One Channel page. It's kind of a weird URL. YouTube.com One Channel. Um, let's see if that will actually load up. Yes, YouTube.com One Channel, O-N-E-C-H-A-N-N-E-L, will bring you to the page that talks about One Channel. If you scroll down, you can click this blue button. Mine says I'm already using it, but yours will say click here to use the new uh, channel design. And that's how you start, and that's how you access your channel. So there we go. New channel on YouTube. Open up to everybody. Uh, let's see how that works. I think it's pretty interesting. So um, there we go. Let me know if you have any questions.